don't know. I normally have it on silent. Based on last year's projections, interview invites for Western should be going out this week, but it's fine. I have a lot of work to do. I'm on my way to my fourth first author publication and I have to get some Western blots going. What? It was hot in the lab. It was about time for interview invites to go out, though. I come from a long line of doctors. My mother was a doctor, her father before that, my uncle was a neurosurgeon. That's probably why I scored a 530 on the MCAT. Ah, also, I founded an NGO dedicated to fighting malaria. You've probably heard of it, so I won't bore you with it, but now is when the real challenge begins. Yes, I got an interview for Western. Didn't you also apply? Yeah, I... Uh... Don't worry, man. It's okay. There's, there's other careers other than medicine. You can try that next year. Don't worry. Yeah. I don't even know how the man got an interview. He was volunteering at the soup kitchen all summer. I didn't even know interviews were coming out today. It's, uh... I really should check my email more often, but uh, I guess I'm, uh, I'm excited to see where this goes. Well, that was earlier than I thought. Maybe too early. Do you know why? Huh. Okay, based on my interview last year, this email's completely different. I mean, the font's different, there's a few extra commas. Oh my god. Okay, so my research has concluded, and now I just have to review my questions and then review my extracurriculars. I know what to do. I'm gonna so late to work. Are you okay? I got an interview. What? I got an interview to Shulik Med. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Thank you. What's going on here? And you, you're late. I applied to medical school this year and I just got an interview invite to Shulik Med. Medical school? Don't you have an arts degree, Sam? Uh, yeah. Doesn't that put you at like kind of a disadvantage compared to the fancy science kids? She has a point there. I'm so nervous about this interview to begin with. Do I even stand a chance? The MCAT was so long ago. I don't even remember the Krebs cycle. Are they gonna ask me questions about the Krebs cycle? Should I start studying now? All right, well, good luck with that, I guess. Get back to work. All right, okay. Pay okay, attention, please. <laughs> Settle down. Okay, we're just going to start. Hi, everyone. My name is Janet, and I'm the president of the Student Partnership and Association for Medical Students, otherwise known as SPAMS. Um, I'm very excited to say that you're all going to be participants in the SPAMS interview boot camp, uh, which we'll be hosting right now. And I do just want to point out for liability purposes, we have cameras around the room, which are going to document your progress throughout the week. Now, I do have a very busy schedule, so I'm just going to leave things in the hands of uh, Cameron Parker. Uh, hi everyone, I'm Cameron Parker. I'm the campus rep for SPAMS. Uh, why don't you all just get to know each other a little bit um, just while I'm getting set up. Also, there are some refreshments that Janet and SPAMS have very kindly presented for us. And finally, a question that I know that they'll be asking for a fact is, donde medicina or why medicine? Okay, so I think this is such an important question that we're actually all going to break into some small groups. Oh. Oh, yeah, we're gonna, okay, y'all shouldn't be groaning. Okay, come on, guys. This is a very important question. So, uh, any questions for me before we break into small groups? Um, yes, every med student I've spoken to has said to just be myself in the interview. How do you... <clears throat> if you be yourself for the interview, you're going to bomb it. They don't want to see who you really are. They want to see you at your absolute best. 
Here's a question. What if you are always at your absolute best? This way you can both be yourself and your absolute best. Uh, okay, H hold on, Brian. I don't think that's what Sam meant. I think she kind of meant that... Well, what does Cameron Parker think about being your absolute best? Okay, so just discuss it all together and I will see you all uh, at lunch. Okay. I'm Cameron Parker. I'm a fourth year medical student and I am so happy that this is finally happening. I had to practically beg Janet to let it go through, uh, but I guess they liked it so much that they wanted someone to film it. So it's gonna be really good. Uh, it's gonna look super good on my CV for residency applications. And um, it's also gonna be really good for the students. Um, can we redo that? Yes, so who wants to start? Yes, I think that we should each go around and talk about why medicine. I think I have a couple points here I'd like to talk about. It's a really rough draft if anybody wants to read over it. Yeah, okay. excellent. <laughs> no offense, Sam, but I don't think anybody really wants to hear about your hobbies. Yeah, like, I don't get why you're trying to show that your artistic background helped you pursue your passion in medicine. Oh, um, yeah, I guess you're right. I gotta, I gotta work on that then. Yeah, I think you should. All right, who wants to go next? I'll go next. <sighs> hey, uh, your response, I, I liked it. it. It really stands out. So why medicine? It all started when I was born in Toronto General Hospital. I actually remember the face of the doctor that brought me into this world. A little longer than a few minutes later. And it was after my fifth trip to South America, helping underprivileged rural communities, that I realized I wanted to change the world by becoming a doctor. So what did you guys think? Um, that was, uh, interesting. Uh, Brian, that was way too long. You do realize that for most interview questions, they give you like five minutes max to respond, right? Five minutes? Oh yeah, yeah, I definitely knew that, I mean, but I think after hearing about my first trip abroad, that'll extend the time for me. I don't think that that... You know, John and I, we go way back, I mean, before he met me, he didn't even know what he wanted to do with his life, and between you and me, I think he only applied to medicine because I did. Yeah, I met Brian in our first year of undergrad. Um, he's a he's a great guy, but what's the word? He's he's maybe a little too overconfident. What's up, my followers? Over here with the competition. Yeah, I have an arts degree. I've always loved painting and drawing, and I feel like it's given me a bit of a different perspective on things. You know, it helps you understand when people or things are a little uncertain. Do you think that's something you could put in your why medicine response? Huh. Yeah, I guess I could. Right, so for this question, I have coded a script that pulls keywords from the internet on why medicine, and then I'm going to funnel that into chat GPT to build my ultimate answer set. Okay, so my response for why medicine? Okay, so I've been scrolling through pre-med Canada and pre-med 101, and all of them just said to be myself. But those responses came from people with less than a 526 on their MCAT. I mean, I don't really trust it. And uh, so to wrap up, I want to go into medical school because of the personal experiences that I've had. Knock, knock, Cameron Parker's back. Uh, how did it go? Did it go well for everybody? Yeah, great, okay, glad to hear it. So we're gonna move on to Casper. Let me tell you, Casper is an important part, so y'all better pay attention, okay? Yes, there's two problems with that. First, we already wrote the Casper before we applied. And secondly... Casper isn't really a requirement for Schulich, but I didn't really have the heart to tell Cameron Parker. I mean, he seemed way too excited about it. That was a total waste of time. I didn't even learn a single thing I don't already know. I mean, at least I guess I got to scout out the competition. 
Yeah, so that wasn't really the most helpful event, but I did get to see maybe some of my potential future classmates. So I suppose it wasn't a complete waste of my time. I suppose that it helped build some confidence because I was the only one that was prepared. I mean, I suppose I had some interesting ideas. It went super well. Uh, Spam's leadership, if you're watching this, you should know that it went super well. It went so well that there are two students who in fact stayed behind for more. So for my wine medicine, do you think I could input a little bit about being an artist? Yeah, no, I think that's a really good idea and it really shows, you know, who you are as a person. Thank you. I, I just hope that the interviews speak that too. Yeah, yeah. What, what do you think about uh, like this part over here for my... I think that's really good. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. You should definitely put that Okay, in. okay. Maybe I'll, I'll finalize that later then, yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. They'll definitely, definitely love that little bit about like wanting to go into medicine since being a little baby. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this was really fun. Sam and I bounced some ideas off of each other afterwards and we practiced our responses together. So I, I'm feeling pretty good about this. We got to meet some potential future classmates and I think it really helps build up my confidence too. Yeah, not too shabby of an event run by an organization called SPAMS. I think after this session, I'm feeling a little less nervous than I did before for the interview. No, that, that looks dumb. Uh, no. Yeah, okay, okay. I'm ready. Yeah, I spent a lot of time yesterday just hanging out with friends. You know, I've already done a lot of prep, so I just want to take my mind off of things. Um, I've already practiced some questions. I've recorded myself doing those questions. I've spoken to my academic office for some feedback. So yeah, I, I, I think I'm ready. There's no space for my Governor General's award. What did I do to prepare? I come from a long line of overachievers. I've been preparing for this interview since I was three. Normal people might feel stress. <laughs> I'm anything but normal. I'm so proud of you, Sam. You've worked so hard over the last couple of weeks. You truly deserve this. Now, go show them who you are. Thanks, sis. Love you. family has always been so incredibly supportive of me on this journey. I owe everything to them. And I, I promised myself that I'd get in to pay them back. Well, I think I'm ready. I've done mock interviews with friends. I've prepared as much as I could. And I think it'll go well. I hope. So I know the last cycle did not go my way, but you know what? This time I came prepared. I've reread doing right like a thousand times. I called my internet provider company way ahead of time to make sure my internet works. Nothing can go wrong. I've got every single thing under control. And on top of it all, I have the support of my most wonderful, beautiful, sweet family. Let's do this. It's just an interview, I mean, same as when I had to get that job at my dad's company. And I'm so ready. I mean, my great aunt, niece's boyfriend's first cousin removed actually got an interview. And she said that one of the questions was <laughs> And that concludes your interview for today. Thank you so much, Brian. It was a pleasure meeting you. 
Oh, no, thank you. I, I really appreciate this opportunity to be here. You know, with your busy schedule and everything, it's... <laughs> they love me. I'm sure of it. Seems like you're pretty confident about how you did. Oh, definitely. I was easily the best candidate that interviewed this cycle. Really? Yeah, 100%. And I even told them that. I wonder how the other candidates did. <gasps> it went horrible. Puff me a tissue. The internet lagged for 1.5 seconds. The interviewer looked away from me at one point. And I'm pretty sure I said something that was a red flag. I'm never gonna get it. Maybe he was trying not to show any emotion because he wanted to standardize the interview for everyone. <laughs> yeah, right. One of my friends told me that one of her friends that I got in was asked about her cat. Her stupid cat! Who cares about a cat? You know what? I'm gonna go talk to my internet service provider. Uh, Angela? I'm gone! Angela? How are you feeling? That wasn't... That wasn't as bad as I was expecting. I know I gave it my best, and so I truly believe that whatever ends up happening now is for the best. <laughs> there was one point in the interview, though, where I just got so nervous that I started talking about Taylor Swift. But it turns out that one of the interviewers was a Swifty. So it turns out that there is some truth to the whole be yourself advice. There were many variables which I didn't account for. Perhaps I should have run through the big list of panel questions a fifth time. There were some things I was not anticipating. I'm sure you did better than you think. No. I only got to talk about two of my four publications. Maybe I should have gone through that list a fifth time. Whoa, you guys are still here? So, how was the interview? Um, I mean, I guess it went well. I, I, I'm glad it's finally over. Uh, I was super anxious at first, but I think as the interview progressed, I kind of made it feel more like a conversation, and I think that really worked out for me. That sounds awesome. Yeah. So, uh, how long are you guys going to be here? Any moment now, Western. Any moment now. Wait, I just got a green tick. Wait! I just got a green tick! Oh my god, I got in! Mama! I got into the West Windsor campus! All right, friends, it's midnight. I'm currently entering my... Could you give me some space, please? I'm currently entering my login details into the student center. Sign in. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! I mean, I always knew I'd get in. It's okay if I don't get in on my first try. I heard most people don't. And after all, there are so many competitive applicants every year. And it's not really a reflection of who I am as an individual or how good of a person I am, but rather of the system. But at the same time, <sighs> oh my God, I got in. I need to call my mom. Mom, I got into Shulik Med. I know, I know, I can't believe it. No, no, don't tell your friends yet. Just wait till I'm home. Okay, yes, I love you too. I'll talk to you later. Bye. What's going on? Sorry, I just had to make a quick phone call. I'll be right out. I heard a medical school application results came out today. Any news? Yeah. I actually got into the Schulich School of Medicine and Dentistry. Oh, wow. That's amazing. I, I always knew you could do it. 
Thank you. I'm just I'm actually gonna miss you a lot. Whoa, I got into the Shoelake program. The London campus. I wonder if Sam got in. No, that's stupid. No, I... Shoot. Oh, hey, Brian. Uh, did you get an email? Wait. Okay, so I didn't get into Shulik. I didn't get into I didn't get into I didn't even get into To be honest, I was very, very shocked because I am the perfect applicant. I had 32 out of 32 of ABS entries. I mentioned every single one of the CAMEDS principles in every single one of my interviews or whatever, but I mean, it's probably a glitch in the system. What do you think the other interviews had that you didn't? that I didn't, I don't know, less international experience. Actually, now that I think about it, they were all pretty genuine. They were doing it for the right reasons. And I still think I need to figure out mine. I am actually having a surprisingly fun time meeting all of my new classmates, of course. They will all be my competition in four years, but for now, hmm, they're not bad. Hello. Hi. Ava Tripp, Doctor of Medicine, candidate 2027. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like really excited, but a little bit stressed too. I mean, it's a new journey, but I'm really looking forward to it. Classes? I can't wait. Like, when, we, when is the first class? Hey guys, okay, so I know that we're getting to know each other. It's great. We're actually just going to go take some photos right now on the hill. So if you just want to come with me, we can talk a little bit later. Okay, let's go. Um, yeah, sure. We'll, we'll meet you there in a little bit. Cool, okay. I mean, lots of time to get to know each other before, but all right. Let's, all right, cool. Cameron? 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 Okay, okay. So are there any good places to eat on campus? Yeah, I heard about the Spoke. Apparently they have really good bagel sandwiches. Hey, are those the CMA backpacks that first-year medical students get? Yeah, they are. Okay, so we're pre-meds and I just have a question. What would be your number one piece of advice for helping us get in? Honestly, it might sound a little cheesy, but just be yourself. Be ourselves. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't know if that would work for me. It seems kind of cliche. I'm not sure if I got an interview that would really get me in, but... Congratulations on you guys getting in. Yeah, thanks. Uh, we'll see you around. See ya. Still learn. Wait, I'm recording. <laughs> <laughs>